Welcome back to another episode of the movie. I'm your host, Ricky, and this is Stefan. On this episode, we're going to talk about episode number episode four. Before you, before you go into it. Anyway, into the show. It started off kind of interesting and wild. Blood everywhere, throat slash, guy just looking out the window. Set a kind of ominous tone to this episode to me. Foreshadowed a lot. It did. So, for those that have not paid attention too much, first few episodes we uncover the different classes first class, second class, third class, and the tail. The tail, of course, are those that snuck aboard without tickets. And so, it happens upon that. A murder has has uh, happened on this train. Mind you, no one ever gets off the train. The train never stops. It does a full rotation around the around the earth every year. So, one of the characters from the tale is it was actually a detective before everything was frozen over. So they pluck come out of the tale to investigate this murder. It's kind of important because there's only been one other murder ever on the tail, and this is exactly the same way as this murder. And they put the person in the uh, bins and cabinets. So they thought they had the suspect. Don't forget to add who they thought was the killer. I know, that's what I'm saying. They they thought that she was their suspect. They thought Mm. they had the suspect. Turns out they didn't. Fast forward now, we're in investigating. Last episode, we got the big clues. He was basically on to whoever it was that did it. Full circle to the final one for this episode number four now. They locked down different sections of the train after the uh, brawl in episode three. Our killer is stuck in the lower class in class three. They start going from car to car to look for. Meanwhile, our detective here is up in first class searching through who he believes is the suspect's quarters. Mind you, first class, which is a big thing. Of course, they didn't like it. And not at all. But the bombshell, which I, I have to tip my hat to Stephen. He called it last, right on the last episode. The daughter of a first class person was the mastermind behind it all having their security guard whatever you want to call them hit man do the deed for slicing everybody's throat but using a b weapon was kind of interesting because it didn't look sharp at all but them cuts look precise what you think so well um this episode, I know we're going to get to the second half of the episode uh, sooner, uh, sooner rather than later, but the whole um, finding out who the suspect was and stuff like that, like, that was dope. And I appreciate them, like, leaving you with, like, pondering what's going to happen next. Like, so what made me lead to believe last week that she had something to do with it. Because as soon as she see her, she's like, oh, she's a cool, she's in it. Well, how do you know? You get what I'm saying? So, with that reveal, it made me like, oh, okay, so I was paying attention. <laughs> so, you know, that whole other part of it, I have a question, though. When they found the thing, right, God, like, why did they kill him? Well, I mean, he wasn't going down without a fight. He already, she already said he was not coming out alive. I mean, they could have done anything. They could. No, no, no. So don't get me wrong. To detain him, I thought like they could have injured him to detain him. But they, like, went beyond. I thought like what they did to him was overkill. I mean, he killed a lot of people once. 
too. He was attacking them during the process. He was swinging the, an axe at them, shooting at them. So once they got him in that, with the axe in his back, he was already going to be done anyway. So it was overkill. He kept going. I was like, God damn. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it was overkill. Attacking. I thought it was overkill. That's all. I mean, yeah. But uh, only reason why I say this is because now it's making me suspicious of everything now, especially what happened at the end. We'll get to that. Um, yeah, but it's but that's suspicious that's of everything. That's but I feel like it's over. Like, you didn't let this man have a trial or anything like that. I feel like it's I mean, he didn't. I don't think he wanted this trial anyway. I think he was going out that way. He didn't want to basically uh, stand trial, face his accusers. But second half, they already have every, everybody got arrested. She's gotten arrested. He's been hacked to pieces. Our detective has just now had a celebratory toast with Mr. or should I say Mrs. Well, what for? Or, I mean, whatever you want to call her at this point, because. No, that's 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 she's that's got many no she's got many hats. That's right now. That's Wilford, bruh. That's Wilford. We can call her what it is. I mean, we're gonna have to wait to see on this one. Whether or not she really is or if she's fulfilling the role for somebody else that we, we have yet to see on the no, show. It, so I would have to agree with that. Like it could have been there really wasn't Mr. Wilford. Something happened to Mr. Wilford. Now she's taking on that role as Mr. Wilford. Right now, she's Mr. Wilford. I guess. Yeah. All right, so she spikes his drink, basically. Yes. Knocks this man out, puts him inside one of the bins. But she doesn't want him giving the same treatment that all the normal prisoners get, which is going to be interesting. She has a plan for him later on in the show, I'm guessing. Because yes. I'll be damned. The black man, as one of the main characters of the show, is going for the rest of the show. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking that myself. Well, yeah, you could definitely, you could definitely tell she has something to store and plan for her, or because she did say, you know, I had a feeling that they were going to be like, oh, he knows too much, but he's too smart. I don't know if he's going to be wrong. I keep having this. Yeah, I know. They wasn't going like, to like him. And I feel like his res- his resolution or re- revelation, sorry, was when she made that phone call. How you yeah. looking at her? Mm-hmm. That's when he finally found out. It was during that phone call, that fake, that fake phone call she was making to Mr. Wilford. Oh, yeah. See, problem was, though, it came at the worst moment. Mm-hmm. Because the tell was already getting him the information. They were planning to move. Yeah. Sadly, that move is now going to be put on pause. But I yep. expect to, back to me to think, she knew that something was about to happen in the tell too. I think she knew. That makes sense though. Because that you was talking to that lady. Mm-hmm. From the third class, I believe, right? Yeah. Who was a former tell. Mm-hmm. But next week, the trial of the train's history. It's gonna be interesting to see. Does she get off by the first class? Which I personally do not agree with the fact that it should just be the first class that decides her fate. Agreed. It should be every class, especially the classes that suffered the losses at the hands of the first class. Agreed. But did you so, see the look on her parents' face? Yeah, yeah. The fact that they had no clue that their daughter was doing this and the fact that she was getting arrested was crazy. But see, she almost had everything so for them where it would have been a big fight for her to get arrested had she not grabbed the weapon and started going at them. Like yeah, crazy exactly. She could have tried to play it off, but the thing is... I mean, we know that the two knew already. But it was it was eyes. Funny, what's funny to me was she was, she was crying, right? Yeah. It's looked back up the de- detective, gave a detective the smirk. He looked at her and was like, Do you not see this? Well, I mean, he was already signaling to her, yeah, you, you too. But that's exactly why they called the extra guard into that room. 
Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Trying to slice him up. Mm-hmm. She was going to try to... She, you see where she swung at, too. Oh, when you talking, when he was sitting down talking? No, no, no. When she swung at, as he turned around to try to knock it out of her hands, she swung out a little bit. No, but I'm talking about, remember that she was talking to him? Yeah. How she ran that thing up his leg? Yeah. Like, wow. Oh, but see, he knew she wasn't get, doing nothing. Yeah. He already calculated everything with her ahead of time. But with this trial, we're going to see what happens. I personally think she's going to get all, but something's going to happen when she doesn't make it out. Yeah, I think with the fact that they can't find Andre, the girl that was supposed to uh, see the message, um, be able to find Andre, with the number of people who know Andre is missing. Um, yeah. I wholeheartedly believe that now this is going to start the uh, um, revolution with the vote of the table. Um, and it might happen during the trial. I think the tail is saying in the third class is going to like, team up. Of course, the third class has to, especially after all this, after the revelations that's about to come from all of this. So, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. And I think during the trial, the third class and the tail is going to bust up in there, guns are blazing, crazy stuff, and yeah, it's going to be a crazy episode. Yeah. And the second class, too, is going to be interesting. What do they do? Who do they side with? You got to pick a side, regardless. Yeah. But everybody... This was another episode of the Movie Social. We thank y'all for watching us. Please let us know what y'all thought about the episode in the comments below. And also, don't forget to like us and subscribe and turn on the notifications. But until next time, everybody.